In this video we're going to carry on from where we got to with the buttons and we're going to have a look at how the accelerometer works. Uh, now before we get started I just want you to have a look at this program. If you have a look here, I've created three different images. Uh, now, instead of having them on multiple different lines, I've just put them all on one line. After you've created a few images, you should get used to uh, uh, being able to create on a, uh, on a single line. But if you want to carry on doing it on multiple lines, that is fine. Um, so my left image is a an arrow pointing to the left, my right image is an arrow pointing to the right, uh, and then both is sort of like a diamond looking um, picture. Okay, so let's have a look at what's actually going on in the program. If button A is pressed, we're going to show the left arrow. If button B is pressed, we're going to show the right arrow. And if neither of the buttons are pressed, we are going to clear the display. So you can see uh, I've got my... Uh, arrow, when I press the uh, the A button, the arrow points that way. When I press the B button, uh, the arrow points that way. Okay, and when I'm not pressing either button, uh, the display is clear. So I want to change this so that when I'm pressing both buttons at the same time, I get my both image up there. Okay, now the way that we do that is by using the AND keyword, but it's kind of important that we do it in the right order. Okay, just going to show you what I mean by the AND keyword. Okay, so I'm going to put another ELIF in here. So if button A is uh, not pressed and button B is not pressed, let's just check to see if button A and button B are pressed. So I'm going to say button A dot is pressed and button B dot is pressed. Okay, pretty simple, right? If uh, if button A is pressed and button B is pressed at the same time, then we are going to display dot show um, both. Okay, seems simple, right? So I'm going to download that. I'm going to flash it onto my micro bit here. Here it goes, and let's have a look. So. Here's my micro bit. I press the A button there. Um, the arrow gets displayed. If I press the B button there, uh, the arrow gets displayed. If I press both buttons at the same time, uh, okay, it's not really working the way that we'd expected it to. And the reason it's not working properly is because the first thing that our program checks is if button A is pressed. If button A is pressed, it's going to display this arrow. Okay, so if button A is not pressed, then button A and button B both pressed at the same time. We're never going to get to that bit. So we need to make sure that this is the first thing that gets checked. Okay, so instead of if button A is pressed, we are going to make this line here the first thing. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out of there and I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, and I'm going to say display dot show both. Okay, so uh, we're going to change that to button A and change that to left. And um, we are going to say button B dot is pressed. Uh, there we go. Display dot show right. Now it's very subtle difference here. But the fact that it's checking to see if they're both pressed first means that now it's going to work. It's going to check to see if they're both pressed. If they're both pressed, we're going to show the diamond image. If they're not both pressed, then it could be the case that one or the other is pressed. Okay. So if you, if you try using the AND keyword in some of your programs and it's not quite working as you expected, try changing the order of it. Okay. So let's download that, flash it onto my micro bit. And we will check to see if it works. Okay, so here's my micro bit. Uh, neither button's pressed at the moment. There's nothing on screen. I press this button, I get the arrow. I press this button, I get the arrow. If I press both buttons, I get my diamond. Okay, so that's all working. Brilliant. Okay, but wait, I hear you cry. You were going to talk about the... Um, accelerometer. Yes, I was. Now, the accelerometer 
it's the micro bit is able to detect how much you are tilting it okay and the accelerometer has these uh, settings called gestures okay so I'm just gonna zap away half of this stuff here okay I'm gonna keep my images in there because they might be useful okay so I'm going to say if accelerometer accelerometer uh, dot current gesture okay so it's checking to see what the current gesture is we're gonna say left like this now you have gotta be very careful here you have gotta put two equal signs in there okay if you just put one equal sign in there it won't work so if the current gesture equals left but you gotta have two equal signs in there we are going to say uh, display dot show left there we go uh, else display dot clear okay now this might be difficult for me to show you um, on the uh, on the screen here but we'll see how it goes so in theory if I've tilted the uh, the micro bit to the left we should get the left arrow displaying otherwise we'll just get a blank screen so let's download this there we go uh, copy that across there okay so it, it's gonna be I think it's gonna be difficult for you to see but you can see I've got my accelerometer here uh, my micro bit if I tilt it this way nothing happens if I tilt it that way you can see the arrow comes on when I tilt it to the left okay now I've got a little challenge for you um, because with our other uh, program we had if the left button was pressed we were going to display the left arrow we had if the right button was pressed we were going to display the right arrow and if they were both pressed at the same time we wanted to display the um, diamond well now we've got um, accelerometer settings here we can have gestures left we can have a gesture right and the other gesture that we can have is face up okay and it's written like this I'm just gonna change my code here so I'm gonna say face up like this okay I'm gonna say display dot show both I'm gonna say if the um, uh, if the accelerometer is showing that the micro bit is face up we are gonna display the um, the both image the little diamond I'm just gonna download that just to double check that it's working properly so that you guys can see flash that onto my micro bit and there we go I can see that it's working um, hopefully you can if I tilt it you see if I tilt it like too much to the side you can see those lights going out okay so your challenge is to write a program which displays the left arrow if you've tilted the micro bit to the left it displays the right arrow if you've tilted the micro bit to the right and it displays this sort of diamond pattern uh, if the um, micro bit is face up you don't have to use the left arrows and the right arrows and the diamond you can use your own um, images if you want to you could even use your own animations if you want to okay but what I'd like you to do is try and get that program working so if you tilt the micro bit to the left you uh, get a left arrow if you tilt the micro bit to the right you get a right arrow and if the micro bit is face up you will get a uh, diamond shape okay Brilliant! In the next video, we will look at some advanced accelerometer settings, uh, like being able to determine how far to the left or right the, your um, um, your micro bit has been tilted, and um, maybe we will look at a the start of a simple game. Okay, so see you in a bit.